So this video will be a brief tutorial on how to add text comments or notes onto a PDF. So here we have the uh, lecture slides for chapter three. And here it's in you know PDF, so you can print it and you know, take notes by hand if you want. Um, and you don't need to necessarily have Office installed or PowerPoint to do so, which is why I do it in, in uh, PDF format. Uh, but a lot of people were saying, you know, I bring my laptop to class, I want to take notes on my laptop. And, uh, and I think that's reasonable. So uh, instead of giving the PowerPoints out, uh, which I'd prefer not to for a variety of reasons I can talk about in next class, uh, I wanted to show you how you could pretty easily, and I think pretty effectively, kind of get the same functionality, still take notes uh, right on here, and then you know print them or save them, do whatever you'd like to do with them. Uh, and for free, again, without needing to uh, you know, pay for any type of special software. So basically here I have the PDF opened in uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader. This is the newest version, which is Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. You can get that online. I'll put a link uh, near this video. Uh, basically, if I kind of scroll down here to uh, the slide that I want to take a note on, let's say on this overview slide, uh, what are habituation and sensitization, and let's say that you know during the lecture I say something uh, you know, really important that you decide you want to make sure you take a note about, then basically what you do is you go over here to the right over to the tools bar here. And if that wasn't uh, available for you, uh, you may have it looking like this. So just go all the way to the right with your mouse and find this little arrow pointing to the left to click on that, and that'll expand it out. Uh, and if it's already there, then you don't need to worry about that. And um, then basically go to the comment field here. Uh, so click this button, and that's going to bring up a uh, new toolbar here at the top, which is all your comment tools. And uh, there's a lot of these different tools. You can add sticky notes, you can highlight things, you can underline things. It's pretty powerful. Um, but I think the two that are going to be most useful to you guys are the draw tool, which is this pen here, or pencil. And then basically you can, you know, circle things uh, or underline things. It'll even smooth out your lines a little bit. Uh, and so that can be useful, you know, you could you could even draw, you know, if you think this is a great slide, it makes you happy, put a little face on there. Uh, but then the really big, I think, important one is this one, add text box, okay? So what I like to do is click on that and then basically just drag over here where you would take notes if you were uh, doing it by hand. Uh, now here you have this red box um, and then a cursor that's blinking. So you could just type here like you would normally type. So, you know, here are my notes habituation and sensitization are opponent processes, okay? So maybe something here about remember that quiz number one is due tonight, okay? And then basically if you click off this, it's going to get rid of all your uh, lines there. So if I hit enter between them, it'll kind of compress it up. Uh, but then it'll be there, and I can even drag it around, I can move it, uh, and on the right here, you're going to have all of your different um, comments. And so if I take a bunch of different comments, it's going to be very easy to search through them and find, oh, I know I took a really important note about, you know, habituation. And as long as I spell it right, it's going to come up here and even underline it for you. So, you know, once you have a ton of these notes, it's gonna, that's going to be a pretty powerful tool. Uh, and then at the end, you can do, uh, you know, save, and it's going to ask you to save as because you made some changes to it. And then you can just go to, you know, your desktop, save it there. Now, if I close it and open it up again, unfortunately, this video recording will be stopped. But basically, uh, you know, take my word for it that your notes will still be there when you open it up again. And then you can study from that or, you know, hold on to it, print it even, uh, do whatever you want with it. So I hope that's helpful. And I hope this is, you know, maybe not as good a solution, perhaps for some of you as, you know, having the, the PowerPoint. But again, I think that this is uh, hopefully a nice compromise that everybody can kind of get what they need from. All right. If you have any questions about this, you know, send me an email or come to office hour or something like that. And I'll be happy to work with it, uh, work through it with you. Thanks.